Hey friends and welcome back to my channel Zara Story Block. Today I'm going to be reading for you little um I mean another one of those little people big dreams book and our person for today is Emily Bakahastrist. And and just a quick reminder if you haven't seen my little people big dreams go to my channel and check out the previous videos and pick out your favorites. Written by Elizabeth Kieser and illustrated by Anna San San Slippo San Lippo. Emmeline was born into a big family in a nice house in in Manchester, England. At at the time she grew up, life was hard for many people. Her parents did whatever they could to help and often brought young Emmeline along. So in this page it it shows Emmeline's family and here's Emmeline and in this page it shows that Emmeline is right here and this and this lady is giving her money into Emmeline learned to read when she was just three, and it became her favorite thing to do. She read the newspaper and and a book after and book after book, drawn to stories of heroes who fought for the others. She dreamt of who she might become. In this picture, there's lots of kids. Some are playing with toys and some are hugging dolls but em but Emmeline is right here and she's reading a book and over and this is a thinking bubble that's Emmeline's thinking of but Emmeline didn't have many choices because she was a girl one night she heard her father say that it was too bad she wasn't a boy she wouldn't go to university, get a job, or or even vote like her brothers. Emmeline didn't understand why. She began to read about women's rights and 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 begged her mother to bring her in to a meeting so she could learn more. There, Emmeline heard that women in Britain like many other countries were treated very unfairly they needed to they the right to vote in order to change things emmeline knew what she had to do in this picture there's a bunch of audience and there's emmeline right there clapping and her mother's smiling right next to her and this is the person who's speaking and yeah and that's her and that's her script that she's going to tell to everyone as soon as emmeline finished school she began working for women's rights one of the leaders of of the cause was a lawyer named richard who also believed that women should be equal to men the two fell in love working side by side to help to help women win the right to vote emmeline and richard married and and had a family for many years they tried to get voting for women for women's right but nothing changed sadly richard became sick and passed away leaving Emmeline with her four ch children with very little money and no rights as a woman. Emmeline had to work very hard to support her family, but she didn't stop supporting women's rights. Soon it was her daughters who begged Emmeline to take them to meetings. They asked 
why women had been following unfair rules for so long. This gave Emmeline an idea. In this picture, Emmeline is telling her children and one of her kids is saying that votes for the women. Hmm. I think I think they want to do the exact same thing as Emmeline. We'll we'll find out. Emmeline and her daughters became the leaders of a new group of women, a group that would stop following the rules and would fight for their rights. People called them the Strafagets. They started speaking out on the street corners and at fairs. They stood up to protest at big meetings. Some people laughed at them, but others began to listen. The government tried to stop them, so, so they fought harder. They marched into streets. They broke windows, set fires, and chained them and chained themselves to railings. Even though some were hurt and others were arrested, even more than women joined Emily Inn's group. They were braver than anyone had imagined. It was in between spreading many days in prison, Emmeline travelled to the US and spoke at big theatres. People gathered by the thousands, thousands of people gathered by to hear her. She told them she would keep fighting until every woman was free to do the same thing as men. In this picture, Emmeline is giving a speech and, and thousands of people in the theatre are listening. Then a great war broke out and lots of men went off to fight. Emmeline encouraged her strafigates to take over the jobs that men had done before. They were stronger than anyone had believed. After the war, Emmeline's dream came true. Women would finally get the right to vote by, by fighting for others. Emmeline had done what no one thought a little girl could do. She had become a hero. In this picture, lots of people are voting and there's em Emmeline and, she's, and that's a massive thinking bubble and that thinking bubble is actually true. She actually became a hero. Emmeline Pankhurst. Emmeline Prankhurst. Emmeline was born in 1858 and she passed away in 1928. So this is Emmeline's timeline and there's some gray pictures which means the pictures are very old because you know they were from the 18th century and this is 1975 and that's the middle of Emmeline's life and it's nine I mean it's 1870 1879 and here's and here's nine and this is the 19th century and this is 1928 and also, like, in this picture, at the end, I think that's a few minutes, a few minutes or hours after Emmeline passed away. Emmeline Prackerhurst was one of the world's most influential activists who helped British women win the right to vote. Born in Majesta, England, Emmeline was inspired at a young age by her parents activism and and went to her first meeting about women's rights or suffrage with her mother at the age of 14 she soon began working for suffrage eventually marrying one of its leaders richard buck pankhurst when richard died unexpectedly 
Emmeline raised four children and worked, whilst continuing to fight for suffrage. Emmeline and her daughters started a new women's activities group that encouraged women to demand their rights. With, with deeds, not words, protesting in ways only men had before, only men did before, they, of, they were often arrested, but, but they keep fighting, gaining support worldwide and changing the way thought, uh, people thought about women. During the World War, one of Emmeline Strafford's army stopped protesting and took jobs that the men had left behind, which helped the country and showed how capable women were. The British government gave all the women the right to vote shortly after Emily died. And many other countries followed suit. Emily's heroism and leadership changed the minds of an entire nation and changed the lives of women forever. And that's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed this video, I mean this story that I just read for you. And if you want another of Little People Big Dreams or my other stories, please hit the huge like and subscribe button right now. See you soon.